We're going to take apart the Moto G6. First thing you want to do, remove the SIM tray on top. Once you got that out, next thing, you're going to heat up the back and you're going to take the back cover off. Now you're going to need a plastic pry tool, a guitar pick, or a suction cup to help you with this. This actually is a little bit easier than the Moto G6 Play since there's no fingerprint sensor over here and no cables underneath it that get attached to the back of this cover, it'll be a little bit easier to remove. So since I already took this apart once, second time is going to be a little bit easier. For you guys, prying it off will be a little bit harder for your first time. You're going to need to separate this back. Just work your plastic pry tool along the side. And again on the Moto G6 plate and G6, it's a little bit hard to find where you're going to separate it from, where the back cover separates from the frame because of the color of the phone and material, it's almost hard to tell. You're just going to have to run your fingernail down the line and the side to see where the separation is. And you're going to work your way around. Make sure you do it gently so you don't break it. No need to rush. Now here's the back cover. Now that's out of the way. Now you have 16 Phillips screws you're going to have to remove throughout the phone on the back. One of them has a sticker covering it. You have to remove that sticker as well. Go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, once you have the screws removed, you're gonna have to lift up this Sticker over here that's attached to the battery. Just peel it away. And then once you peel it away, there's one hidden screw underneath it. It's also a Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. And then you're gonna separate this plastic piece from the frame. So here's that black plastic piece. And also to note, like I said in my last video for the Moto G6 Play, usually people who have any sort of uh, reception issues or Wi-Fi issues or anything related to the antennas, these plastic pieces usually have antenna lines running through them. You see these gray ones over here, or I don't know if they're more close to white or tan, whatever. These are the first things I would look at because these are the things that from the opposite side, you see these lines running through here. They connect to the board or touch the board in certain contacts, which give it the reception you need for like Wi-Fi or whatever these antennas are for. So these are the things I would always look at if you're having any sort of issues in that area. All right, next you're gonna wanna remove the battery cable, which is the red and black one right here. You're just gonna wanna pop it up from this corner right here. Just lift up and it comes off. And then go ahead and remove these cables here, one here, one here, one right here. You also have one over here, and you're gonna disconnect the cable over here for the volume key and power switch. Let's go ahead and remove all those. If 
for the power switch cable, lift up the lock. Once the lock is lifted, pull out the cable gently so you don't damage it or rip it. And then, just for others who are wondering about the water stickers, every now and then people ask me about it. There's one over here. Let me bring it in closer for you guys to see. You have one right here. It's the red and white one. It's marked with X's. And you have one on the bottom over here by the charger port. Those are your water damage indicators. So if in case it ever gets in contact with water, they're gonna turn pink or red. Okay, now on the main board, you have two black Phillips screws you're gonna to have to remove. There's one down here, and you have one up here. So go ahead and remove those. The one on top is between the earpiece and the camera. The one on the bottom is hidden a little bit underneath this cable over here. Just move the cable over right below the battery and unscrew it. Now go ahead and lift up the board. Lift it away from the frame. So here's your main board. Here's your SIM assembly over here, where your SIM tray goes into. You got a charger port on the bottom, headphone jack over here. Here's your front facing camera right here. This is your main camera over here, with the dual cameras. And now you're left with the screen, the frame, the battery, earpiece right here, your main earpiece or speaker. You have your vibrator over here. So if you want to remove the battery, you're just going to have to pry this battery, heat it up a little bit, pry it up away from the frame. And if you want to replace the screen, this is the screen cables. And one of the cables down here goes for the fingerprint scanner. And this cable over here is for your power switch. There's a screen in the front. So again, like I always tell everyone in all of my videos, if you're replacing the screen, it's always best to find one with the frame assembly already attached. Just makes it a lot easier instead of having to pry the screen off with the mid-frame. In case you have to do it that way, you're gonna have to heat up the screen in the front and you're gonna have to pry the screen away from the mid-frame, remove it. You have to get rid of these cables over here. You have to just slide them through once you heat it up and you're prying it off. And in case you have to also replace your fingerprint scanner in the front, you are going to have to replace the screen or, I mean, remove the screen from the mid-frame so you could get the cable out, which is right here. And you also have another water damage indicator here or liquid damage indicator right there in the corner. This is the one where when you remove the SIM tray, you'll be able to look and see if the phone has water damage or not, if the sticker is red or pink. If it's not water damage, it's going to be white with red X's on it. Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the phone. Take your main board. Make sure none of the cables get stuck underneath it. Slide it into the lip. Make sure it's seated back in place. 
go ahead and screw the screws for the main board back in. Once you got those screws back in, reconnect the cables. And then you're gonna put your volume cable, slide it back in. Once your volume, volume key and power button cable's back in, lock it in place. Take your screen cables. your fingerprint scanner cable. All right, once all your cables are back in, go ahead and connect the battery cable back. Okay. Now go ahead and put this plastic cover back over. Make sure it snaps into place. And you're gonna screw it back in. Make sure you get the screw that's over here first. So you don't forget it. I put all the screws back in. And just to note, the black screws go on the corners, one on each corner, so that's four. And you have one black one over here that goes by the battery connector. The rest of them are gonna be the silver screws. Okay, now once all your screws are back in, you're gonna put the back cover back on the phone. Once it's in place, press down firmly, and you can apply some heat to reattach it. Now go ahead and power on the phone. And you're done. Now if you want to see the Moto G6 play disassembly, I'll link it in the description below.